In this case, let's start right off with alkyl. Saffron was as effective as a common ADHD medication, in this case, methylphenidate. Why did they look for an alternative to methylphenidate? Primary reason was, according to the research, certain individuals, in this case about 30%, do not either respond or cannot handle or tolerate the stimulant-like effects of methylphenidate. Henceforth, they looked at saffron. The reason why they looked at saffron is quite interesting. We'll delve more into that in a second. But with that in mind, let's get right into the research as follows. Again, the research ran about six weeks, about 54 participants. I think 50 completed the trial, but extremely promising in regard to saffron. So let us proceed. Could saffron be as effective as stimulant medicines in treating ADHD? A new short-term pilot study in children and teens 6 to 17 years old with attention deficit hyperactivity disorder has shown saffron to be as effective at controlling symptoms as methylphenidate, the commonly prescribed drug Ritalin. Saffron might be a promising herbal alternative for treating ADHD, particularly for the 30% of patients who don't respond to or cannot tolerate stimulants like methylphenidate, as reported in the article published in the Journal of Child and Adolescent Psychopharmacology. In this, this is kind of interesting, wait till we get to the, the dosaging. In this six week, basically, randomized double blind study, 54 patients, in this case, children and teens, six to 17 years of age, with a diagnostic statistical manual and mental disorders, da 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 da. All right, so, the dosaging. The dosaging was almost exactly the same. 20 milligrams to 30 milligrams of methylphenidate and 20 milligrams and or 30 milligrams of saffron per day. So you had two groups. They took the exact same quantity, I should say, 20 to 30 milligrams of methylphenidate per day or 20 to 30 milligrams of saffron per day. And yes, they came out with equivalent results. But let's proceed into the research as follows. Again, that was per day for six weeks. This is important to why they chose saffron. And again, just quoting the full published study itself, which we'll have links to. Crocus sativus, also known as saffron, is the world's most expensive spice. It was traditionally used for its antispasmodic, antiseptic, antidepressant, anti-cancer, anti-convulsant effects. It is thought that saffron and its active constituents can increase the reuptake inhibition of dopamine and norepinephrine and r and methyl d aspartic acid receptor antagonists and GABA agonists. Its therapeutic properties have been scientifically proven and demonstrated in numerous animal and human studies, including memory enhancement, antidepressant, anti-anxiety, and neuroprotection studies. Taken together, since saffron is a punitive, antidepressant, and antidepressant agents were acceptable for treatment of ADHD, they, or according to the researchers, we hypothesized that saffron intake would be a benefit in these patients. In addition, have the ability to affect both monoaminergic and glutamatergic systems also qualify saffron as a possible candidate for the treatment of ADHD due to malfunction of these circuits in this particular disorder. So there you have it. Saffron basically as effective as methylphenidate in this small 54 participant six week trial at 20 to 30 milligrams per day, depending on body weight, if you look at the research there. So, the clinical significance in the outcome is as follows. The study provides evidence for satisfactory outcomes with saffron in the treatment of ADHD. The clinical relevance of these findings was emphasized by improvements seen in both parent and teaching rating scale scores. Also, saffron was safe and showed equal or lesser adverse effects as obviously utilized methylphenidate. So, there you have it. Very, very promising, uh, huge uh, feather in the cap for saffron itself. The study as conducted here was at 20 milligrams to 30 milligrams per day, depending on body weight of either the child or the teen itself. So incredibly, incredibly intriguing. And then only that, the other benefits as basically highlighted by the research itself in the full published study is just astounding. Again, they want to see a larger study to confirm the results, obviously with more participants. But in any case, saffron looks 
extremely, extremely promising as a possible alternative or treatment in regard to HDHD, especially for those that do not respond to medications such as methylphenidate. Again, this is Ralph Church Channel, signing off once again. Hope you find this information of use. As always, DOI citation will be listed with the links to the full study itself. And thank you very much for listening, and I look forward to seeing you all once again in seven days. Catch you then. Bye.